Hi, welcome to Aquatic Amster. I'm making this, this video about an issue I recently encountered with the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE model. And the issue I encountered was when I tried to use this with my MacBook Pro, the cursor would just drop to the bottom of the screen. I've tried a few things. Try waiting until it's first powered up blue, then plug their USB cable. I try changing to shorter for USB cables different ones, different brands, but in either case, the cursor would just keep dropping to the bottom of the screen. And I'll try raising it, it's about this point, but it just immediately drops. I tried flipping the SB switch to the top, and when I did that, the cursor would drop slower. And since it drops slower, I need to time it perfectly when I try to play games like Lift Off. Now, of course, that's not ideal, the computer I have here, this is the MacBook Pro with Retina 15 inch late 2013. Previously, it was running Mac OS 10.13. That was when I had the issue. And because there are no drivers for Macs, I updated it to 11.2.3. So now that it's updated to 11.2, I do not have the cursor issue anymore. That part is resolved. I can plug the, the controller into my Mac and I have full control of the cursor. The issue I have now is, I'm trying to show you. This is one of the reasons why I resisted not updating to 11.2 because some of the apps, just reading through the forums, they ran better on 10X or OS X. Notice the propeller speed. It's very sluggish. I'm just clicking here. I'm going to skip the uh, drone selection. Because mine's an older MacBook Pro, the, launching with Metal doesn't really make any sense. I did try it though. If I launch the game with metal, it'll go up to 50% and that's it. It'll just stay there for like a good five minutes. My computer fan will be running hot, but no progress is made. If I run in default mode, it's, it's still slow, very slow. Loading finished. And what I'm gonna show now is the graphics I'm using. I set the quality to simple. Mm, yeah, let's just keep it at simple. Then for the resolution, it's pretty low. I can, let me just set it even lower then. Full screen, resume. So now, let me lift off. Sorry, we reset this again. It's not easy to try to fly with only one hand. See the performance? Pretty, I mean, I'm running at lower resolution than I was before the Mac OS upgrade. But you get the idea. Either way, the point of this video is on how to resolve the cursor issue when trying to use this with the MacBook Pro. As for the performance, I think a lot of it has to do with the operating system because it ran fine before the operating system upgrade. But then also, this is a 2013, late 2013 computer. I guess I can get a new one, but of course the newer MacBook Pros have their own issues too. All right, well, for, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.